actually we have team meetings every day before uh, games and I was kind of sitting in the locker room by myself probably like 9 30 ish and he just like I saw him make eye contact with me like across the locker room it was very awkward for a second and I just like sat there and he just like slowly walked over to me and then just kind of said hey you're getting the nod tonight uh, be ready to go and that's kind of how did it. that how did that feel I was super nervous at first obviously um just because it's been a year and a half since I played in an actual game and um I don't know but as soon as like I got in the net and everything else just kind of calmed down and just stick to what I know best what did you do well in that tonight? You know, how did you uh, accord yourself well tonight? Uh, I think just getting the nerves out of the way, seeing a couple of shots early really helped. Um, obviously, great D guys in front. They blocked so many shots. I have nothing but true thankfulness for all of them. Uh, I thought I saw the puck really well towards the late end of the game, guys pushing guys out of the way so I could see pucks. Um, definitely just felt really good. And just as that game went on, I just felt more confident and confident and just I didn't think anything was going to stop me. Last thing, uh, obviously, you know, when you come to West Point, Coach Riley tends to go with one goalie uh, for much of the time. Trevin was obviously the incumbent here. Uh, what was it like not playing last year and then now getting that shot? Uh, you know, like, obviously you want to play, but uh, Trevin and I are great friends, and I've learned so much from him just by sitting back. So uh, obviously I wanted to play last year, but Trev was good, and Trev does what Trev does. So I've learned so much from him. And then Matt Penta, the goalie who graduated last year, they both just took me under their wing. I still talk to Matt all the time. Um, and Trev and I are just really good friends, so I just have nothing but respect for him and how he plays the game. And he just taught me so much. So how does it feel to get that first one? Uh, it's kind of surreal. Like, I don't know, part of me like wanted to like, cry after the game a little bit. Um, part of me just like didn't know what else to do. So uh, it, just, it feels unbelievable, kind of like a dream. Thank you. Justin, hi, Ken Kreitzer with uh, Sons of the American Legion Radio. Congratulations on the win today. Um, just tell us a little bit about your path to West Point. I know you're from Minnesota. Uh, just tell us about uh, uh, your high school and junior hockey and, and, and why you came to West Point. Uh, so I grew up just outside of uh, Minneapolis, so about 25 minutes west of Minneapolis in Minnetonka, Minnesota. So it's like a it's a pretty, pretty big hockey, hockey town, um, a lot of history there and I played youth hockey all throughout there and then by the time ninth grade hit uh, I just wasn't feeling it there it just was hard for me to like adjust to bigger schools and stuff like that when I knew I needed something smaller so I transferred to uh, Minnehaha Academy where my grandfather my dad my older brother and my twin brother and I both went um, and played the four years there so I just gave me an opportunity to play a bunch of games uh, see a lot of shots because we weren't the greatest but uh, we were pretty good uh, kind of known for our basketball and football I guess um, so after that, I, my first year in juniors, I went to Brockville, Ontario in the CCHL, Central Canadian Hockey League, uh, and played there under a uh, former NHL guy, Jesse Winchester, and played a full season there. Um, then after the season, I decided I wanted to try to come back in the States and make it in the USHL. Uh, started out the year in Tri-City, just wasn't a good fit, got traded all the way over to Youngstown, Ohio for the Youngstown Phantoms. Um, wasn't a great fit either. Uh, then I got dropped down and moved on to the NAL, so the North American League uh, in Amarillo, Texas, which ended up being probably the, the best thing I could have asked for. Um, I made a lot of great friends, a lot of good memories. Uh, we were an amazing team. Uh, I started talking to Coach McKelvey, both actually Chris first, uh, my first year in Canada. Didn't really think much about it, just kind of wanted to weigh my options, how, how juniors was going to go. It was only my first year. And then Kind of as the clock kept ticking, I just kept on getting calls from him, kept on seeing that. And after I came on my visit, I was just blown away, and that was history. That's great. Now, <clears throat> tell us a little bit about what your year was like uh, when you went home this spring, if you were able to practice, and then coming back to West Point in, uh, in June. Uh, how much training were you able to get in and getting through, uh, you know, the COVID uh, uh, situation at West Point a few weeks ago? Uh, well, super interesting for me. I had hip surgery the last week of the season. Um, and so it was really nice to be able to just go home and rehab those five or six months just at home. Um, I didn't end up coming back to West Point until late July. And so I didn't skate a whole lot. I did a lot of rehab, a lot of things. I maybe skated three or four times towards the end of the time before I came back. So I didn't have a lot when I came back. But when I did come back, it just kept on getting better and better. And I just kept on feeling more confident about things. So it was a true blessing to be home with family, friends, all that kind of stuff while I'm being able to recover. Sure. Hey, just tell us about uh, the uh, play, the uh, goal by uh, Lincoln, uh, middle of third period. What did it look like from your perspective? Oh, my God. Uh, it was a big sign of relief for me. Um, I saw him go on a break, and I was like, please just put it in the net. And so for me, 
Um, watching it, I knew he was going to go far side just because he's got that long reach and that long stick. And I just hope to God he was going to put it around the goalie because um, their goalie played unbelievable as well. He's really, really talented at such a young age too. So I was just super, super stoked for him and super impressed by the way he handled himself throughout this entire game and this entire year so far. Hey, congratulations. Good to meet you tonight. Thank you so much. Our pleasure.